This video demonstrates how to set up an Express Connect link between two virtual private clouds. Alibaba Cloud Express Connect lets you establish a secure high-speed intranet link to, from, or between virtual private clouds, or VPCs, without requiring the use of a VPN or the public internet. Pricing varies according to the location of the VPCs and the bandwidth required. There is no cost for a link between two VPCs in the same hosting region and zone. For the purposes of this video, we've already created two VPCs in the Frankfurt hosting region, called Frankfurt A and Frankfurt B. So let's go ahead and link them. To start, we log into Alibaba Cloud and head to the console. From the networking menu, we choose Virtual Private Cloud. Select our region, and we can now see our two VPCs. Note the first column of the table, which contains both the name and the internal ID code of the VPC. When you create an Express Connect link, you need to know the ID of the VPC if you have more than one in a region. Here, our A VPC ends with DG8 and the B with RV2. To create the link, we head to the networking section of the console and select Express Connect. Ensure that Router Interface is selected on the left-hand side, and then click on the Create Router Interface button. Ensure that the Subscription tab is selected. For the scenario, choose VPC Interconnect. For Router Creation, we choose Create Initiator and Receiver. For Router Type, choose VRouter. For the local region, we choose the location of our first VPC, which in this case is Frankfurt. We can now choose from a drop-down list of the ID codes of our VPCs in that region. Next, for the peer region, select the location of the other VPC. In this case, it's also Frankfurt. For peer router type, choose vRouter. For the peer VPC ID, we choose the ID of the other Frankfurt VPC. Choose a bandwidth specification from the list available, which will vary according to the hosting locations that you're linking. Finally, choose the order duration and click to buy. With the order placed and the link established, we can then configure the routing information on each of our VPCs. We'll start by configuring the first VPC, which is Frankfurt A in this case. From the home page of the console, under Networking, click on Virtual Private Cloud. Then on the left-hand side of the screen and on the VPC tab, click on the VPC link. From the list of regions at the top of the screen, we choose Frankfurt. The screen shows details of each of our VPCs in the selected region. Click the Manage link for the Frankfurt A VPC. On the left-hand side of the screen, click on vRouters. At the top of the screen, click the Add Route Entry button. For the destination CIDR block, enter the IP range of the VPC to link to which is Frankfurt B in this instance, and 172.16.0.0 forward slash 12. Select the next hop type to Router Interface. Under Router Interface, select the General Routing Radio button. From the drop-down list of router interfaces, choose the router interface of the Frankfurt A V router. Click OK, and you should see a notification that the route was successfully added. Now we repeat the process to configure the second vRouter. From the console under Networking, click on Virtual Private Cloud. Then on the left-hand side of the screen, on the VPC tab, click on the VPC link. From the list of regions at the top of the screen, choose Frankfurt, as that's where our second VPC is hosted. We click the Manage link for the Frankfurt B VPC. On the left-hand side of the screen, we click on vRouters and at the top of the screen, the blue Add Route Entry button. For the destination CIDR block, we enter the IP range of the VPC to link to, which is now Frankfurt A. The range we use for that VPC is 192.168.0.0 forward slash 16. So that's what we need to enter. Set the next hop type to Router Interface. Under Router Interface, select the General Routing Radio button. From the drop-down list of router interfaces, we choose the router interface of our Frankfurt B vRouter. Click OK and wait for the success notification, after which your link will be ready to use.
A server or ECS instances that you create in one VPC will now be able to ping servers in the other VPC by default. To allow any other type of communication through the Express Connect link, remember to add the required ports to the security groups of the servers. That's the end of this video. To find out more, see www.alibabacloud.com forward slash product forward slash express dash connect. Mm -hmm.